Ja, herzlich willkommen zurück. Wir sind jetzt ungefähr eine halbe Stunde nach der Xbox-Präsentation. Und ähm, ja, jetzt haben wir die Mother Direct, äh, eine Fan-Präsentation rund um Earthbound und Mother Fan Games und Mother Like Games. Und da geht es jetzt auch schon los. So, genau. Ähm. Ich bin gespannt, äh, was da kommen wird. Das ist natürlich immer ganz wild. Äh, solche Fansachen, da kann ja alles kommen. <lacht> Deswegen, ganz gespannt, geht gleich los. Oh, die Qualität ist ja schon mal nicht so pralle. Naja, gut, okay. Auf geht's. Mother Forever präsentiert. Hey there, I'm Cody Nocolo, Director of the Mother Forever website, and this is the 2022 Mother Direct, where we bring the latest Mother Community projects directly to you. The Mother series never stops inspiring people, even almost 33 years after it began. It's come a long way, and the first two games even had an official release on Nintendo Switch Online a few months ago. When Mother 2 was re-released on Wii U, Shigesatu Itoi said to Satoru Iwata, Lately, I've been realizing more and more that if I never made Mother back then, there are many people now I'd have never met. That even rings true for if we all had never learned about or played the Mother series. All of us that made this and all of you that are watching wouldn't be here without Mother. It really brought so many people together in special ways. I think that's what our website, so many other Mother-inspired projects, and this Mother Direct are all celebrating. Not just some games that we have a connection with, but how these games have connected all of us. All the projects you'll see today were inspired by the Mother series in big and small ways. From fan translations and fan games to completely original Mother-like indie games. Without further ado, the Paradise Special's pulling in, so we better hurry. All opposed, say oink. So, ein bisschen lauter gemacht.
Mother 3 Opposing Force. Cool. Jetzt erhältlich. Geil. Three worlds collide. Okay. Starmen aren't the only ones getting a massive upgrade. Welcome to the 2022 Mother Direct trailer for the newest version of Mother 2 Deluxe. I'm Messianic, the hack creator, and I'm pretty excited to show off some of the more notable features for the next version. Some players of this hack have stated that it's too difficult for them, while still fewer have said, I want more of a challenge. I'm addressing both of these with this, a difficulty selection feature including a casual mode for more newer players. All right, let's talk PSI. Pooh's getting two new PSI moves in this version. First is PK Ground from Mother 3. Also Dimension Slip from the original Mother. Also some buffs to Hypnosis and PK Fire. PK costs in general and the levels that they learns are all being tweaked. There are all kinds of graphical changes in this next version, starting with the picture taking. Also the inclusion of a feature that I've been asked for many times, which is running. Let's hold down the Y button and go to town. A massive feature is the inclusion of diagonal frames for all sprites, including NPCs and enemies. This includes for all cutscenes. Speaking of which, two cutscenes that were deleted from Mother 2 during development are now put back in. Cutscenes now contain black caption bars that swoop in and out very conveniently, and all vehicles in the game actually animate now. Many cutscenes will also be enhanced by changing the animations to include their diagonal frames. Alright, here's some massive quality of life changes, starting with a special goods and the tools menu right from your main select. No more useless items sitting in your inventory all game, and now you can look at Jeff's items and what they do straight from your main menu. Ever wanted to know what items do before you buy them, like especially new ones? I got you covered. If your inventory is full at the end of a battle and an enemy drops an item, you can use that item now or use one from your inventory to make room. Now, four side turns into the new moon side, which is much bigger. Why, you may ask? To make some space for three new optional dungeons with all new items, enemies, and bosses, and... Hey, wait, was that door there before? Hmm, there's just so much in this new version. I jam-packed so much into this hack. What more could you possibly want? Animated battle sprites? A dark shadow falls over a rural town. <laughs>
Dark Aspects is a video analysis series of mine exploring the darker elements present in Nintendo's most innocuous, family-oriented franchises. Mother was always the perfect candidate for this YouTube show, as all three games explore very grown-up worlds and experiences through the lens of a child. This snowballed into my biggest passion project ever, as the culmination of my obsessive love for these games stuffed together into one deluxe box. Seriously, my Legends of Localization Earthbound book by Clyde Mandolin is falling apart because I've flipped through it so much for reference. Looking back at this feature length plus film, I've naturally come to the conclusion that it's not enough. So I'm now announcing that Dark Aspects of Mother is getting an extended cut, with bonus episodes featuring the coveted unreleased Earthbound 64, and the recently fan-translated novel adaptations. Look out for these episodes and other Mother content coming soon to youtube.com slash thanegaming. But while you wait, there's plenty of related videos to watch already on the channel like my showcase of Earthbound's creepy endgame anti-piracy measures, and an extensive look at the poignant, haunting triad of books that influenced Mother 3. Hope to see you there. Klingt gut. Schaut mal rein, guckt euch vielleicht heute Abend auch noch mal an. A fan fan translation? Warum ist er denn auf Spanisch? So, das ist ein fertiges Spiel und das ist jetzt auf Sp Ja gut, okay, ich hab's verstanden. On Masterpiece Garantie. <lacht> It's no secret, the Mother Series is somewhat mistreated internationally. Only two of the three games have been localized into English. And when it comes to other languages, it's even worse. Official translations simply don't exist. As for fan translations, different games are translated by different groups of fans Quality may vary, and there's consistency issues between games. You know, a bit like, hmm, this one. We're a group of French Mother fans who have already translated Mother 3 into our language, as you may know from the very first Mother Direct in 2020. We really tried our best to make a high-quality translation. Now, we're announcing a new translation for Mother 1 on GBA from the Mother 1 Plus 2 compilation. We're aiming for the same high quality standard to make it look like a professional translation. References like enemy names, items, iconic phrases are kept consistent between games. We're keeping track of all those terms in a glossary. Also, to make our translation as good as possible, we did a lot of ROM hacking. We resized menus to allow for longer names. Battle messages are nothing like Ninten, Attack, Gorilla. Instead, Articles and grammar rules have been implemented to allow for natural sentences. We made the game dynamically use plural forms of verbs when you have multiple party members. We built all this on top of Tomato's English translation project. 
our source code is available on GitHub. So if you want to translate this game into your own language and you need solutions for long names or complex grammar, feel free to use it. And if you need technical support for both Mother 1 and 3 by the way, feel free to contact us, we'd be willing to help. The Mother 1 French fan translation is available now at mother1vf.free.fr. Also, we're partnering with a team to make an NES version of it. That's all for us now. Thanks for watching. Ich würde mir ja wünschen, einfach so einen Launcher, wo du alle drei Spiele in allen Sprachen auswählen kannst. Das wäre cool. Young, old, weird and friendly. They're all unique and different. They probably have such interesting lives, probably as complex as yours and mine. Have you ever stopped to think about that? Well, I've been thinking about the life of someone we've known for decades, but who barely gets talked about. Have you ever wondered what the backstory of the photo guy might have been like? Hi there, I'm Vince94, and I've worked on a lot of stuff over the years, like the Mother Remake soundtrack, which is still ongoing, a multi-year Cave Story musical arrangement project that I did to force myself to learn OpenMPT, the last PK Hack panel at Camp Fangamer, and maybe even a few Silver Gunner goofs along the way. I've been developing a ROM hack that explores the adventures of this peculiar man when he was a young student at the Snowwood Boarding School. Included in this hack are new maps, new characters, music covers by me of course, a port of the battle text abridgments I made for the 25th anniversary hack, and sprites by Sharb, Gabby, Willow, and pretty much anyone else in PK Hack who'd like to chip in in the future. This hack was originally just going to be a proof of concept, something small and finishable that I could make to teach myself the ins and outs of hacking, which is something that I highly recommend doing. It stayed relatively small, but the scope has gotten a bit bigger over the years, and I've had a lot of other stuff to work on, too. Other things I've been working on include stuff to help make EVMuseZ a viable SNES tracker, including tutorials and tools to help people import custom instruments, and things in real life like photography, not a big surprise there, IRL music stuff, video editing stuff, other fandoms, and also part-time jobs and grad school. That's probably pretty important. I don't have a lot of social media, because I found it to be more frustrating than fun, but I have a Neo City site, and of course, I'll be posting updates and songs from the game to my YouTube channel and Patreon, so please be sure to check those out. Thank you, and I hope you all have a wonderful Mother Direct this year. Das klingt cool. Attention passengers, this is Conductor Eclipse, giving you a PSA on our translation patching application, Mother International. It can patch your mother rom into any language instantaneously, and it will even include the translations you just saw after they release. And this is Honored. Have you heard of Mother Forever's Mother 3 music pack? I ripped every music track and sound effect from Mother 3 to include it in the highest possible quality. Find it along with every past Mother 3 rip and Mother International on our website or in the description with links to all the other projects featured today. <laughs> naja, da haben wir es ja schon. Like the... Aber leider This game is bound to be earth shattering.
Ja, das wäre ja mal ein Plot-Twist, ne? Alter, das war jetzt aber mega episch. Shattered Earth. Demo, come, Demo coming soon. Alter, das muss ich mir auch merken. Das sah sehr geil aus. Ja, das wäre cool, wenn Nintendo so gesagt hätte, ey, hier droppen wir jetzt mal eben Mother 4. <lacht> ja. Nee, das hier sah aber cool aus. Das sah cool aus. Doch, doch. Is your refrigerator running? Face fear and make dad proud. This is Otto. This is Otto's son. And this is Odo-san. Dad's going on a week-long business trip. While he's gone, you can explore the town of Sinkport. Read up on new techniques. And bring some friends along, too. Whatever you do, just make sure you keep your dad posted and call him at the end of each day. Odo-san smashes together fresh gameplay. With beautiful SNES style graphics and music. You can play the first day demo right now. Go to odosangame.com. It runs right in your browser. The game is completely free. With enough donations, Odosan will show up in other places too. There's lots to do in the demo, so I hope you'll give it a try. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Open up your murder eyes to this game. Open up your murder eyes and see the ugly world that's brand you out. Open up your ugly mouth and sing the words that's how you split them out. In the days before the damage, no one knew if we were happy. In the days before the damage, dying ones that knew it's easy now. So open up your Attention, 
passengers, this is Snake Shroom, and I have another announcement. After being inspired by the Hobo Nietzsche Mother Project's Mother Survey 2021, we released our own Mother Forever survey. Take the survey after the direct and we'll share our results at the end of the summer. And this is Echoes. Coming up next, indies that definitely feel like Mother-like, but with gameplay or something else that's a little different from what you'd expect. We're calling these indies Mother-like and Other-like. Start planning your next trip with this game. Clothros. In a system as beautiful and unique as ours, it's only natural to want to sail the stars and visit our numerous planets. However, there are many pitfalls one must avoid. This short guide will help you through the basics of interplanetary travel. Before traveling, make sure your ship is in good working order. The last thing you need is a breakdown on the astral highway. Always think ahead and pack with the hazardous conditions you'll be facing in mind. Some domains are perfectly peaceful, but some have snowy mountains, dense jungles, and dangerous wildlife. Make sure your ship and your stomachs have plenty of fuel to get you where you need to go. If you ever find yourself in need of help, try asking a local. If you look hard enough, you can always find a friendly drone and a helping hand anywhere you go. Traveling is often difficult, but having a friend or two can help make things a breeze. Use the time to get to know each other, share stories around a warm meal, and make some keepsakes to remember this trip forever. Feel free to pick up some mementos along the journey, but remember that the strongest memories of all are the ones that you make together. The system may be beautiful, but there are many dangers. From deadly monsters to Stable. political climates, you may have to protect yourselves. Learn to use you and your friend's strengths to cover each other's weaknesses, and you'll have no problem defending yourself from these dangerous criminals. A general travel advisory is in effect. Visit your local Unity Center today if you wish to travel, or if you have information about the pictured individuals. Now that you understand the basics, you're just one step away from hopping planets like a pro. There are many wonders just waiting to be explored. Grab some friends, fire up your ship, and plan your trip today. Remember, the system is ours. Sah interessant aus. Every peculiar journey needs a J. Three demons versus two tails? <laughs> yeah.
Are you ready for the grand opening? Okay, sieht interessant aus, sagen wir es mal so. PSI, farewell. Top. Hey again, how was the ride? Welcome to Magikint. These last indies definitely feel as weird as Magikint, and all the strangest parts of Mother. They are Mother-like from Magikint. No crying until becoming God. A mother like with a twist. Naja, äh, am Ende ist Undertale ja auch nur ein Mother Fangame gewesen, ne? Also, ja. <lacht>
Ne, und natürlich, er hat ja vor Undertale auch einige andere Hacks und so gemacht, ne? Äh, der bekannteste vielleicht auch, ich glaube, sein allererster ist der Earthbound Halloween Hack. Das wären. Oh, wait, I think there's a glitch. Ähm, das wären ja alles Sachen gewesen, die pff, theoretisch hier auch reingepasst hätten, ne? So eine, so eine Fangame Direct, nur dass sein Undertale halt wieder erwarten, halt sehr bekannt geworden ist, sehr populär geworden ist. Ja, das ist so der kleine Unterschied. What even is a gnomon anyways? Take the plot. Wow, there were so many awesome projects. We're almost at the end now, but... What was... Oh, they'll have to wait right now. I have something special to showcase before our last few projects. This key artwork by Crispy Boat is set to be featured in a new Earthbound article by the gaming magazine Lock On. The article centers on all kinds of Earthbound inspired indie and fan creators, and it details how the series affected each of them and their projects, including Mother Forever and The Mother Direct. Check out their next issue's crowdfunding campaign soon so you can help print this awesome work and get a copy for yourself. There's still more left before. Sorry, can you call back later? Anyways. 
This update is bound to leave you squared. Wait, it's Converse. Welcome to the world of Mother Squared. Hoffentlich kriegen wir endlich mal eine Demo zu diesem Spiel, ey. Explore a familiar world. Now with even more style. With a completely revamped condiment system. Faster equipment management and more. Come follow us for the latest updates. <sighs> Video relaxant. Ach, zehn, da Juni, okay. Das ist ein Relaxant. There's one more thing I want to mention before our last projects. Right after this direct on this YouTube channel, we're actually premiering an interview with a familiar mother-like indie developer. Let me introduce him with one of his answers. How did you first discover Starman.net? I discovered it using something called Google. Because I was a child my impression was that everyone there was very cool and mature. I really looked up to everyone's self-insert fanfiction that they all wrote when they were 13. Big number. That's right. Mother Forever interviewed Undertale and Deltarune creator Toby Fox. And he wow, das müssen wir uns angucken. Answers to questions about his first time playing Mother, his thoughts on Mother 64, his meeting with Shigesato Itoi, and way more. Like I said, it'll be premiering right after the direct on this channel. So don't miss it and check out all the projects you saw here today in the meantime. Be sure to subscribe for more videos this year because we'll also be interviewing the creators of past mother-like indie games like Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass, Least of the Painful, and Citizens of Earth. And we'll be posting more news updates and other mother stuff too. So stay tuned for- Alright, alright. Hello? Wait, what? Give me a minute. Sorry, I've really gotta go. This was Cody Nokolo, and thanks again for watching. Maybe the best way to end this is with an encore. Nee, ich habe damit auch nicht gerechnet. Das ist natürlich schon ein guter Stargast, den sie haben. Ne? Das ist schon wow. Ich hätte so gerne halt ein Remake von dem Mother spielen. Das sieht, wenn man hier diese Fangames immer sieht, die aussehen wie die Originalspiele, aber dann halt in 16 zu 9, richtig, das ist schon, schon Hammer. Das wünschte ich mir auch offiziell. Encore.
Da sind coole Sachen bei, doch, doch. Ja, das war's, glaube ich, schon. Schade. Also, was heißt schade? Wir haben 50 Minuten voll. Das ist schon... Ja, das ist schon gut. Ich oh, thank you for watching, ja. Danke für euch, für die Direct, für die Gute. Äh, war geil. War geil. Ähm... Was haben wir hier? The following is a work in progress. Footage shown is entirely, entirely in engine, but may not irgendwas. 99X. Yeah. Mein Lieblingsjahr. Ist das ein quasi Remake? Das oh. Oh. Earthbound Dimensions. Ja, und sowas von Nintendo, ne? Das wäre doch mal richtig geil. Wow. Ja, geil. Ja, das war die Mother Direct. Boah, wir haben 50 Minuten knapp. Einfach an Spielen. Das ist, wow, gut. War sehr gut. Ähm... Das war echt gut. Geile Spiele dabei. War wirklich gut. Wirklich, wirklich gut. Danke fürs Zusehen. Ich beende jetzt hier mal das Video. Äh, vielen Dank auf YouTube fürs Zusehen. Und äh, ja, bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.